What's up guys, Sinclair Photos here, and this morning we're out here at Barbarossa Cars and Coffee. If the video looks a little strange today, it's because I'm trying out the gimbal for the first time. So I'm gonna be learning, it's gonna be kind of all over the place, but hopefully I can get used to this and uh, we can make the video super smooth and buttery for you guys. So we're gonna watch some of the cars roll in. We got here a little late, but I'm sure there's more that come. So let's do the show, boys. Here we got the Supra parked up next to a Red Brother. Got the GTR from Colorado with a nice custom plate. You dig, bro? That's pretty sweet. I really like the wheels on that. That's a very, very nice car. On some Ferratas, too. Bonus points. That thing don't sound stock. He's got the OnlyFans sticker on there. My goodness, it's a mobile casting unit. Very nice. And we got the Mopar boys rolling in. Oh, I like that front grill on this one. Like teeth. Very cool. Got the boys rolling in. Mr. Justin. Hey, the Volkswagen bus and the SLC Superlight. Oh my god, the slam dually. That's a thick up truck right there. Holy moly. Look at that setup back there. Ah. There's a whole lot of America right here. up over here we got a old school terminator very nice and stuck in between the mustang sandwich we got a camaro with the hood popped it's a big old intake yes sir next to a beautiful red gt500 that thing looks crazy then we got a hellcat next to a ctsv coupe an awesome custom plate. Big old turb ski in the beamer. That ain't stock. And then the Camaro on some meats. So here we got a 1930 Ford Model A. I just read the little paper on the side and he said it's been heavily modified since they bought it. And it goes on cruises, rallies, and can easily cruise at 65 miles an hour. That is probably the oldest car that's here right now. All these old Fords, like the Model T, the Model A, they're little nuggets of time. That thing sounds sweet. So 
I was just told that the whole IDS exotic car crew is gonna pull up here. So if they're going on a cruise, we might get to see a McLaren Senna, but a bunch of supercars should be showing up very soon. Speak of the devil, we got a 12C. I haven't seen one of these in Houston in a while. Those are just so sweet. And they're very affordable for it being a supercar. Over there we got a LMR C7 Grand Sport next to who knows what. Next to our boy Subi we met last night. On the back it says, I am inevitable. He's got the Thanos mobile. Then we got a lot of people standing around that Subi. This guy driving by again. Looks like he just bonked into a telephone pole. Then we got a Supra, a Fox body, and some American muscle down the line. Oh my God, that R8 is so nice. Look at that. So that's the newest one. That's the facelift 2021, 2020 R8. Oh man. That is sweet. Hey, hey, hey. More supercars. The 720S. And El Kuh. This thing sounds nuts. Here goes my man. See you guys. Oh, you want to see how to the thing? Fox body and an FDRX7. Woo! Unmodified. You never see those anymore. My eyes didn't deceive me. We got a Midnight Purple GT2 RS. All the exotics are rolling up. Got the NSX. Got the Charger with the claw marks. Woo! And more supercars, baby. Got an M2. And my baby, the R8. And a C7 Z06 with a big old wang. Got a Supra brother rolling through. This one is in the like matte silver paint. That color is so cool. And he's got the little carbon duct clip. Very nice, very nice. And a matte black Miata. What's going on here? It's dancing. <laughs> the title of the video RX7 owner shows secret dance mode. Hello. There he is. Young stud. Hello, young man. I love your neon chassis. The saddle. <laughs> That is one mean looking car. Holy mo! 
told you. The anime vet. It's my waifu. We got the supercar boys rolling in. Crazy, crazy. The GT3, the underground racing Herpermonte. The Bentley, the Porsche, and the 812 Superfast. Just listen to this Herpermonte. Then we got some more crazy cars. Got the Porsche and the crazy 812. I think this thing has a full rift exhaust. And she screams. GT2 RS with an exhaust. Got Ace's performance sticker. Got a couple RTR Mustangs. Oh, I flipped you around way too fast there. Rabber Blue. Oh, there they go. Are they gonna send her for some chicken tenders? Oh yeah, baby. All right guys, so most of the cars have shown up. If other ones do show up, I will record them coming in. But now we're gonna put the gimbal to the reason I bought it for. We're gonna test it out with some smooth buttery B-roll. So fingers crossed it looks good, let's go. guys we are officially off the gimbal back on handheld with the external mic this is kind of be my like deciding point this part of the video is better quality better sound and we won't use the gimbal but if the first part was we might have to use the gimbal full time got 570s pulling in and uh you know what the time is time for the sins it's a roush razorback My man's got the 1.2 GPA. That's so crazy. I haven't seen this one before, but I think it's the YouTuber Unspeakable. But y'all know I got that soft spot for Aventadors. Oh my God. Oh 
man, this is gonna be so good, guys. Stick around to the end, because all of these cars are about to send it. And there was a Senna down there at the gas station, so we may get to see that flyby too. It's the big Ram Reezy, the TRX joint. Holy moly, that's a big truck in person. I told y'all the supercars were coming out today. Beautiful, beautiful. guys we're on the journey all the supercars just went down there to the gas station where the Senna is so I'm assuming that's their meetup spot I'm hustling for you guys I'm gonna walk down the street and get the Senna on camera for you guys because I've never seen this one before we can still get the sands on the side of the road Let's find that Senna. We found it. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. The McLaren Senna XP. I don't know which experimental prototype it is, but that thing is freaking sweet. Imagine just like working at this time-wise gas station, looking out and seeing a million dollar McLaren Senna. And about a bajillion dollars for the other supercars. There's the new M4. And we found ourselves walking back to the show to get more sense. All right guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed me using the gimbal, some supercar sending it, and some muscle car sending it as always. We're off to another meet right now, so it's gonna be another video, so stay tuned for that one. But if you did like this video, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'd very much appreciate that, and I'll see you in the next video.